All right, we're going to put some conversions up. This time we're going to convert from the English system to the metric system. Sometimes these are easy to forget. All right, some of them are kind of easy, but some are easy to forget. Let's do inches, okay? So if we have one inch, that equals, now they just say 2.5. I always put 2.54 to be a little bit more specific inches. All right, or sorry, centimeters. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. So if you have a ruler, a lot of rulers have both on it, okay? And if you look at it, you find out where one inch is, put a centimeter, put a metric ruler up to it, and it's 2.54 centimeters. All right, so that's one conversion. Let's do another one. That's the one that I remember. Um, and you can, you can convert almost anything in length just by knowing that one conversion right there. You can almost convert anything from English system to metric system in length. Um, but they're going to throw some other ones at you. I don't have the, to tell you the truth, I don't have these right here memorized. I do have this one memorized. I don't have the others memorized because you te te uh, technically you don't even need to know these other ones because you could always use this. But there it is. One yard is 0.9 meters. All right, and we saw that before. Okay, yard is just a little bit shorter than a meter. Remember seeing that with the yardstick yesterday? All right, so 0.9, it's almost a full right, meter, but it's not quite. All right, so one mile, one mile, come on, put the dot there, there it is. It's 1.6 kilometers, so it's 1.6 kilometers. So it's a little more than... So if you go 1.6 kilometers, you've gone one mile. All right. So that's what the conversion is there. Um, nice. Let's go the other way. Let's do this. If I wanted to find one centimeter, what would I do with this number? If I wanted to get one centimeter and find out how many inches, what math would I do? If I wanted to make this a one, would you times? I want to get rid of the 2.54. If I get rid of the 2.54, I would do what? I would divide. I would divide by that, okay? So um, you could do that if you wanted to, but I'm going to just write down what they have in the book here. So I'm going to go the other way. One centimeter equals 0.4 inches. Now, again, I don't have these memorized. You can do all the stuff that we're going to do, I believe, just with that conversion right there, all right? But here's some other ones that might make it a little easier. One meter is 1.1 yards. Right, so it's a little more than one yard is one meter. We're just going the opposite way. One kilometer, that's supposed to be a km, looks a little ugly. It's about 0.6, and I think I said that yesterday, didn't I say that? Six tenths of a mile. One kilometer is about six tenths of a mile. So one kilometer is a little bit more than half a mile. So it's not exactly half a mile, it's a little bit more than half a mile. One kilometer. All right, so those are some things that we're going to use. Let's do, a, uh, let's do an example. So here's an example. Let's say I have 30 inches, and I want to convert that to, I want to find out how many centimeters is 30 inches. All right, so let's do it. So put 30 inches, put it over 1. This is what we did yesterday, isn't it? And then inches is on the top. We put inches on the bottom. Now look, we can go directly from inches to centimeters, can't we? So I'm going to put centimeters here. How many centimeters? 2.54, right. Let's just go 2.5. That's what the book does. So to be consistent with the answers in the book, we'll forget the 4, okay? So we'll just put 2.5 is 1 inch. Make sure these are equal to each other. Don't put 2.5 inches equals 1 centimeter, okay? Because a centimeter is quite a bit smaller than an inch. All right, it takes 2.5 of them just to get 1 inch. Are right, you following me? So watch, the inches cancel out. So what do you do with these two numbers right here? You multiply them together. That's right. So um, that's about 75. And it would be what? Centimeters. So 75 centimeters. So 30 inches is about 75 centimeters. Let's see if they're lying to us or not. What did we say? 30 inches? 30 so inches. 30 inches right there. Okay? So if I take this around it's about now remember I said it's 2.54 centimeters they use 2.5 so it's not exactly it looks like it's about 76 does that mean we're wrong no no because we're using a number that's not quite as accurate as what I've used before but it's pretty close though isn't it 75 76 I'd say that's pretty close don't you all right yep. okay so at least you believe me now right <laughs> that we're doing it right okay let's do another one 
let's do um, kilometers because we always do that. I mean, like especially when you're driving, even on your cars, even on your American-made cars, you're gonna you'll see miles per your speedometer. You've seen your speedometer, right, in the car? <laughs> okay, and they're usually the big numbers. Um, underneath of it, I think probably on just about every car. Um, underneath of it, you'll see some smaller numbers, maybe in a different color, and maybe you haven't even noticed those before. But look in your car. When you get in a car today, look at it, and you'll see some smaller numbers, and guess what they're in? In kilometers per hour. The, the big ones are the miles per hour. That's one we're used to seeing. But then there's a smaller number that's in kilometers per hour. Okay? I bet you if, you if they made cars that they sold to Kenya or they sold to the Virgin Islands or they sold to Canada or something like that, the larger numbers would probably be the kilometers per hour. I don't even know if they have miles per hour uh, on your speedometers. Do you know if they do? Okay. You don't even know if they're gallons or liters. So how would you know? <laughs> okay. So um, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go from kilometers. So it's five kilometers, and we want to change that to miles. Okay. Put a question mark right there. It's crazy question mark. Now, we could look up here and just use the numbers here. That would probably be the easiest way. We could also... We could have taken kilometers, taken that down to centimeters, go from centimeters, I'm sorry, yeah, from centimeters, change centimeters to inches, and then go from inches to miles. We could do that. But they've done a lot of the work for us already. We already have a conversion, don't we, between kilometers and miles. So let's just go ahead and use that. So I got five kilometers. Put it over one. You're getting used to this now, aren't you? Kilometers on the top, so kilometers on the bottom, miles on the top. Which one do you want to use? You want to use one mile and 1.6 kilometers? It doesn't matter. You can use either one. Which one do you want to use? The one mile or the one kilometer? The one kilometer? Okay. And watch. That would actually be a little easier because watch. One kilometer and then you put the miles up here. How many miles is one kilometer? 0.6. Alright. And now it's just straight up multiplication. What if you did it the other way? What if you used one mile here and 1.6 kilometers here? You wouldn't do multiplication. What would you do? Division, right, because 5 is on the top. The 1.6 would be on the bottom. It would still give you the same number, okay? So now that's pretty easy. So what is that? 5 times 6 is 30. Move the decimal to the left, so it's 3, 3 miles. It's pretty close. We talked about this the other day. Um, who ran in that? Glasgow fiasco thing. I know soccer team, right? One, he's the only one that went to that thing. That was a 5K. When the um, when the cross, who run cross country? Anybody run cross country in here? You run cross country? Don't you run a 5K? And know what it is? Yeah. So you run a 5K race, which is it's not exactly three miles because these aren't exact numbers right here. It's about 3.1 miles. Is that what you tell people? Yeah. So uh, when the cross country does their race. They do about 3.1 miles, which is a 5K. So if you ever run a 5K, you're running just a little bit more than three miles. All right? So it kind of gives you a frame of reference. All right. Does that make sense to you? All right. Let's pause this. We'll get rid of this, and we'll do um, – this is length. Okay? We could do more of this if we wanted to. But now we're going to go to something different. We'll go to volume or capacity. Resume. All that's not recorded. So. <laughs> All right. Let's do another one. One quart. Now, what are we doing? We're going from English to what? We're going to metric. So, what do you think we're going to measure in metric when we talk about volume? In what? We're going to use liters, right? Liters or milliliters. This time it's liters. So, it's about... Now, I put equal signs here. Technically, they're approximately. How do we write approximate when we do math? A little squiggly, right? A little squiggly equal sign. So, it's about... Point, uh, where's my thing right here? 0.9 liters. Okay, 0.9, and I like to write the lowercase for liters. So one quart, so if I get a quart of something, it's close to a liter, right? It's just um, one quart is just um, a little bit less than one full liter. Uh, let's see, here's another one. Let's do a pint, one pint. And that's about half a liter. It's about, it's not exactly even though I put an equal sign. It's approximately half a liter. It's not exactly, but pretty close. All right, so that's a pint of something. Uh, let's see. Let's do another one. Let's go the other direction. What if I wanted to go one liter? How could I always do this if I didn't want to memorize it? I could always take one and divide it by 0.9. So one divided by 0.9 would give me this. So it's about 1.1 quarts. So really, this second column right here is kind of... It, 
I wouldn't say it's useless, but you really don't need to know. Okay? Can you take notes on this? And let's do this. Let's do it in pints. So one liter. And so what would you do? You'd take the 0.5 and divide it. And again, it's not exactly 0.5, but they say it's about 2.1 pints. So if you divided 1 by 0.5, you would get exactly 2. But this really isn't exactly 0.5. So that's why you get the 2.1 right here. All right? So that's our conversions. Put that in a box or something in your notes, right, so that you know that it's important. All right, let's do one or two of these. So we're going to go seven pints. I'm sorry, I lied. Shouldn't lie, I guess, should I? Seven quarts. And we want to find out how many liters that is. All right. All right, seven quarts. So what do we do? We put seven and we put quarts. We put it over one and we multiply it by a unit multiplier. Remember that phrase? Quarts on the top, quarts on the bottom. Getting used to that. We're going to change it to liters. Can we go directly from quarts to liters? Sure thing. Is that us? Didn't think so. Thought it was pretty quick. All right, so um, what do we have? 0.9 liters, right? And one quart. Or you could have done it another way. How else could you have done it? You could have put one liter... And then put what down here? 1.1 quarts. Okay, either way you do it, it doesn't make any difference. So we really didn't even need these parts right here, did we? Sometimes it's nice to know, though. All right, so the quarts cancel out. What's 7 times 9? And then what do we do with that decimal? So what do we get? To the right? To the left. So it would be 6.3 what? Liters. All right. Look, remember, a liter is pretty close to a quart, isn't it? It's pretty close. Not quite. It's a little bit less. All right, so that's why we get 6.3 liters for seven quarts of stuff. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Let's do another uh, unit. We'll pause this. So if we go past 15. All right, let's do another one. Let's go ounces. Let's do uh, mass or weight. Let's go one ounce. One ounce is about 28.3 grams. Again, I don't personally have these memorized, but... Write these down in your notes, and you can always go back to them and look at them. All right? So one ounce is 28.3 grams. So grams are pretty small, aren't they? All right? Because we talk about ounces a lot. You know, we got a 16 ounce, right? You get a big gulp. What is that, like 64 ounce, you know, at 7-Eleven or something like that? Um, one ounce, but 28.3 grams just to get one ounce. So grams are pretty small. And even on your everyday stuff, go buy a Pepsi or a Coke. To, well, I guess Coke. We're a Coke school now, aren't we? Okay, buy a Coke and uh, look on the bottom of it. It tells you how many ounces, but it also tells you what? How many? Talk to me. Come on. How many grams? That's right. All right, so anyway, there we go. So um, let's do pounds now. One pound is approximately half a kilogram. Approximately. It's not exactly, but it's approximately half a kilogram. And if we go the other way, one gram, that's approximately 0 0.04 ounces. And one kilogram, it's supposed to be a K, is 2.2 .2 pounds. And we talked about that earlier, didn't we? All right, one kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds. That's, one, that's the only one of these things right here that I have memorized. Because when you measure your weight, actually, like in uh, anybody watch World Cup soccer, uh, they talk about their weights and their heights and stuff. Their heights were usually measured in centimeters. Don't you guys measure your height in centimeters? Do you? Well, how do you measure your height? No, in Kenya. Like if I said, how tall are you? If I said, how tall are you? What would you say? Meters. You would do it in meters? So you're what? Like two point something meters or? I don't know. Oh, you don't even know what your height is? Okay. What would you say? You're a basketball player. You know your height. Right? In, even in the Virgin Islands, they say they measure it in feet. Okay. Um, but a lot of countries, they'll measure it in, um, in centimeters. Okay. And your weight in kilograms, which is kind of different for us. I only have 45 seconds left. I better hurry, right? So 58.5 kilograms and I want to change that to pounds all right how do I do that well 58.5 kilograms I better hurry <laughs> times what kilograms down here pounds up here what do I put you want to put yeah let's go 2.2 pounds is one kilogram multiply that together and you get approximately 128.7 Pounds. Oh, I gotta stop. Everybody say bye to YouTube. Bye, bye YouTube. Okay.